Indian students know that education has been used against them for generations. Schools have been a weapon to Christianize and civilize, to assimilate Indian children into white American culture so that everything that is Indian within them would die. In the front of the class stood the authority figure, priest, nun, teacher, principal, Indian agent, calling the Indian students backwards, savage, violent, and dumb. Even today, Indian children in a classroom are taught by a stranger with authority, telling them a different version of history than they were told. That is why Healing of the Canoe, or HOC, is taught differently. HOC works best when facilitated by community members, people the students probably already know and are maybe even related to. HOC facilitators should be involved in the community and participate in cultural events. HOC facilitators are respectful of the students and their opinions. We found that the students learn best when there are two facilitators, one male and one female. We've also found that a youth peer educator can help the adults avoid sounding like blah, blah, blah. HOC facilitators should be able to establish and maintain relationships with the students that are built on mutual trust and respect. These relationships are so necessary for the success of the students that we spend the first week or two playing fun icebreakers and board games just focused on getting to know everybody. We empower the students to determine their class rules. They even determine what the room looks like. We give them cameras and decorate the walls with the pictures they took. We transform the typical learning environment by moving the desks into a circle so that we can all see each other, but also to demonstrate equality throughout the room. Our curriculum is largely based on tribal culture and life skills pulled from traditional knowledge. There are as many perspectives on tribal culture as there are tribal people. To learn as many of those perspectives as possible, we enlist the help of the students during the lessons. Instead of teachers giving lectures, we facilitate group discussions, giving all students an opportunity to participate. While we have a lesson plan and a destination in mind, we encourage the students to help us all get there. That way, they learn from each other as well as from the adults. Another source of knowledge comes from the community members and elders we ask to be guest speakers. They share their knowledge in the form of storytelling, basket weaving, cedar bark regalia, drum making, even just telling their life story. As is our tradition, the students thank the guest speakers with handmade gifts. One of HOC's goals is to help young people increase their sense of connection to the community. Having community members as guest speakers increases a student's exposure to the broader community and cultural knowledge. The students will be able to reach out to the guest speakers to continue learning outside of the classroom. While we go over the material in class, we respect that not all students can sit still and most students listen better if they have something to do with their hands. We work with this natural energy and give them things to do. While some students prefer taking notes or filling out worksheets, others would rather sculpt clay, paint a hand drum, or bead gifts for guest speakers while participating in the group discussion. As long as they stay involved, we leave it up to them because we acknowledge that they are the experts on themselves. This helps create a mutually respectful learning community in which students and facilitators learn together from each other. The Healing of the Canoe Community Pulling Together Community Learning Together